in the present session i shall discuss some problems on finding the extremals of the given functionals and also the variational problem uh, how the formulas of e uh, euler's formula and other formulas will be applied in order to find out uh, the extremals of the given functionals let me take an example find out extremals of the functional integration x1 to x2 x plus y dash multiply to y dash it is dx this is an integration as we know that the function under the integral sign is called functional then we select that functional with some notation and then we apply the euler's formula afterwards we will solve that will come as a differential equation and then we will solve that differential equation and we have the condition that uh, uh, there are two derivatives we have to find out in euler equation one is if if we indicate this quantity by ef then it should be differentiated with respect to y once and it should be differentiated with respect to y dash if uh, uh, with respect to y the value comes to be zero then we have to take the derivative of the another one that is del f divided by del y dash is equal to some constant let us see how this functional behaves for these two derivatives with respect to the euler's equation in the solution that the given integral that i indicate that is x1 to x2 should be x plus y dash into y dash that is dx this can be taken as that is x1 to x2 f of x comma y comma y dash and it is dx here we can separate f for x comma y comma y dash that is equal to x plus saw y dash and multiply to y dash this is what we have then after the expansion that is removal of this bracket x into y dash plus saw y dash square this is for f of x comma y and it is y dash next we go for euler's equation by euler's equation we have by euler's equation we have that f by del y minus of d by dx of del f divided by del y dash that is equal to zero from the given function these two differential coefficients we have to calculate and these two differential coefficients we have to see that if both of them are not zero then we will get a differential equation and then we have to solve as it is but if this value comes to be zero then del f by del with respect to del f by del y dash is equal to some constant and from the uh, comparison with the given function that means that function appears under the integral sign we can easily make out uh, it is independent of y because no term of y is there okay then del f by del y equal to zero implies the function that means functional f for x comma y comma y dash is independent is independent of y then then del f divided by del y dash is equal to then you have to differentiate with respect to y dash x plus saw two times y dash 
x plus of 2 times y dash that is equal to uh, that, that is the value of del f by del y dash. Then here we consider this y dash is equal to dy by it is dx. Then we need to solve this one uh, as it is that means del f by del y dash we need to solve as it is otherwise anyway this is equal to 0 minus of this much ok. So, independent of that uh, y here this value only has to be differentiated that is del f by uh, sorry uh, to be solved del f by del y dash is equal to x plus 2 times y dash. So, then then we have then we have x plus of 2 times y dash is equal to some constant that is called as c1 afterwards afterwards x plus saw that is 2 times should be dy by dx because in place of y dash that is equal to constant c1. Then you can have uh, this one that is x into dx. If you divide over by dx, x into dx plus some 2 times d1 is equal to c1 into dx. Then integrating integrating we get first term integration with respect to x that is x square divided by 2 to y equal to it is c1 into x and plus so it is c2. plus so it is 4y is equal to 2 times c1 x plus so 2 times it is c2. Afterwards you can write that c2 as some other constant that is 2 times c1 and 2 times c2. Let x square plus 4y is equal to a into x plus sum b where we represent these two constants together with another quantity that is a is equal to 2 times c1 and b is equal to 2 times c2. This implies whatever the function we have calculated which is the required which is the required x primal, which is the required x primal for the given functional for the given functional. Let us, let us uh, try another problem of the same type, how this uh, uh, functional is different from the functional which is uh, appeared in this problem. Let us see how another problem behaves in order to find out the extremal. Another example, okay. find the extremal. Find the extremal of integration 1 by 10 up to 1 y dash into 1 plus x square into y dash x square into y dash that is dx. Solution. In this problem, uh, here also we have uh, the functional that means function under the integral sign is independent of y. 
that means when y is not there then the derivative with respect to y dash will be treated as constant but the limits are given here there the limits were uh, x1 to x2 they were unknown values but here limits are given means we have to find out the constants at the end uh, in the differential equation here uh, the initial conditions we can take that is y at x equal to 1 by 10 this is equal to values are given where where y at 1 by 10 means x at 1 by 10 this is equal to 19 and y at 1 is equal to 1. These two are the conditions given and we have to make use of these two conditions. These are not called initial conditions but they are boundary conditions because x equal to 1 by 10 and x equal to 1 will be that is x equal to 1 by 10 at one value of x and x equal to 1 the another value of x. Uh, let us see how this functional behaves in the calculation of that uh, derivatives or the Euler's equation. First of all, let us indicate this one. Let i is equal to integration 1 by 10 uh, lower limit up to 1 that is y dash 1 plus x square into y dash that is dx we will be taken as f of x comma y comma y dash equal to this function y dash into 1 plus x square that is y dash will be the functional value then by Euler's equation, by Euler's equation, we have delta by del y minus d by dx delta divided by del y dash equal to zero. find the derivatives with respect to this but before that we can also release this bracket y dash plus sum x square into it is y dash square after releasing the bracket then let the first derivative that is del f by del y del f by del y is equal to zero implies the functional f of x comma y comma y dash is independent is independent of y then then del f y del y dash is equal to some constant c1 then we can take the differentiation with respect to y dash that is equal to y dash with respect to that is 1 and this one x square this one x square and we will write that uh, y dash that is into 2 times because y dash square is there and 2 times y dash that is the differentiation by the second or second term that is a derivative with respect to y dash then when it is equated to c1 let us take uh, this equation in the form of dy by dx so that here itself let me write 1 plus of x square into that is 2 times dy by dx that is in place of y dash therefore c1 and taking the cross multiplication after taking lcm here then 1 will be multiplied by dx this implies that is dx plus 2 times x square it is dy and uh, 2 times x square that is dx is there equal to c1 that is equal to c1 into 
should be dx. Then uh, we have to integrate this equation that is uh, with respect to uh, x the first term and with respect to y in the uh, uh, with respect to y in the second term and right side is also with respect to x because dx is there. Then we can write integrating integrating we get that is x plus of this must be with respect to y means it is 2 x square y equal to c1 that is x plus of it is c2. This is the final form after integrating the value of del f y del y dash from the Euler's equation. Then we need to find out these two constants because this is not a complete solution. Uh, this is a general solution because it includes these two constants. Then uh, to find out the uh, constants in particular, we can make we can make use of the given values. Those given values are uh, one is one value is y at y at one by ten. Y at one by ten equal to nineteen. And y at 1 is equal to 1. These are the given conditions. So, if any equation contains uh, arbitrary constants, what is the mathematical comparison we make with the uh, number of constants and it must match with the number of conditions given. Okay. So, now two conditions are given, we have two constants, then those two constants can be evaluated by substituting individually. Then at the first constant that is uh, uh, we can make use of first constant that is y at 1 by 10 is equal to 19. Therefore, this must be uh, y value is equal to 19 at x equal to 1 by 10 and another one y value equal to 1 at x equal to 1. Those two values I, I shall make use. I, I do like this that is uh, at x equal to 1 by 10 and y is equal to 19. So, let us write uh, x equal to 1 by 10 and how this equation gives afterwards another condition we will use how this equation behaves so that uh, c1 and c2 we can calculate separately. Then uh, at x equal to 1 by 10 y equal to 19 we have that is 1 by 10 plus of 2 into 1 by 100 because x equal to 1 by 10 means 10 square I am writing and y is equal to 19 and that is equal to c1 uh, at x equal to what? 1 by 10. 1 by 10 plus of it is c2. This is one equation that is in terms of c1 and c2. Then we will write this equation for the constants calculation that is uh, 1 by 10 and uh, 2 by 100. So, left side that is 1 by 10, we will simplify this. This equation that is 1 by 10 plus of that is 2 by 100 into 90, that is 19 by 50, we can write, that is equal to 1 by 10, 1 by 10 plus of, it is C2. Then we can multiply 14 by 10, that is 1 plus of, that is 190, 19 into 10, 190, otherwise also you can write uh, 10, multiplying by 10, 10 fives of this one, that is 19 by 5, then equal to, that is 1 plus of, sorry, uh, that is C1 here, C1, that is uh, C1 plus of 10, it is C2. Then you can take the LCM 19 plus 5, it is 24 divided by 5 is equal to C1 plus 10 C2. 
Therefore, one equation C1 plus 10 C2 that is equal to 24 divided by 5. We have one equation by substituting one condition. Similarly, also at x equal to 1, y is equal to 1. Let us see what is this value comes to be. Then that comes to be x equal to 1 means 1 plus of 2 into 1 and y is also 1 equal to c1 x is 1 and plus of it is c2. Therefore c1 plus c2 that is 1 plus 2 equal to 3. Second equation. Then uh, solving for c1 and solving for c1 and c2 we have solving for c1 and c2 we have that is first equation c1 plus 10 times c2 is equal to 24 divided by 5 and another equation c1 plus c2 that is equal to 3. Now first constant we can cancel by subtracting it 10 minus 1 that is 9 c2 is equal to 24 by 5 and minus of 3 first term minus of second term we can take that is 9 c2 from the left side and this much. So what is the answer? That is 5 threes of 15. Uh, that is 9 by 5 will be getting after simplification. Then 9 cancels with this. Then C2 is equal to 1 by 5. This is one value. And from using the uh, using one of the equations, putting C2 is equal to this value, calculated value, you can find out the another value of the constant. Therefore, C1 plus 1 by 5 is equal to 3. Then C1 is equal to 3 minus 1 by 5. Then uh, C1 is equal to 3 minus 1 by 5 is 5 is of 15. That is 14 divided by 5. Then the final equation what we are getting is the final equation for the extremal uh, uh, that is with the constants C1 and C2. Now the calculated values of C1 and C2 we have to write. So by putting at C1, C1 is equal to at C1 is equal to what value? That is uh, sorry, C2 is equal to 1 by 5 and C1 is equal to 14 by 5. C1 is equal to 14 by 5 and C2 is equal to that is 1 by 5. This implies x value and it is plus 2 x square y is equal to 14 by 5 into x and c2 plus of 1 by 5. Therefore, final form of x remand we are getting after taking the simplification Here the equation is x plus of 2 times x square y equal to 14 divided by 5 x plus of 1 by 5. But you have to write the equation y in terms of x. Let us simplify this equation putting y in the left side and writing all the other terms on the another side. Therefore, 2x square y is equal to 14 by 5 uh, x plus of 1 by 5 and minus of x is there. Then you can take the simplification between these two that is 5x equal to 10x divided by 5 and plus of 
1 by 5. This is 2x square. That will be y is there. So let us simplify finally keeping only y in the left side. That is y is equal to 10 divided by 5 into 1 by 2. Should be x divided by x square and plus so 1 divided by 5 into 1 divided by 2 that is x square is the denominator. Then what is the term you have to write that is x square here and the simplification you have to take from this last term. Okay, this is uh, that is 5 to so, the 2 pi so 10 this cancels. Therefore, x divided by x square means 1 divided by x, 1 term, plus so 1 divided by 10 into 1 by x square. This is y of x is the extremal, y is a function of uh, x which is the which is the required which is the required extremal from the given functional from the given functional like this you can solve the problems any number of problems where when once function is uh, identified that function we have to take for the functional and then Euler's equation you have to apply and then arrange according to the Euler's equation with the condition that if y value or y term is not there then you can take uh, it is independent of y. So the next discussion in this topic is that is variational problem in the calculus of variations. How this variational problem can be solved using calculus of variations let us uh, try to understand what exactly this variation problem and same once again Euler's equation we have, we have to apply but the interpretation of the results will be in a different form. Okay. The next heading is variational problem. Variational problem for the given functional. It consists Determining it consists of determining an extremal an extremal curve an extremal curve that is y equal to y of x. Just now we have calculated this one that is called extremal of the given functional. y equal to y of x of a functional functional i by using the following conditions. Conditions or notations you can say that is first condition that is delta i equal to delta integral a to b f of x comma y and y dash that is dx equal to b dot and the second one it satisfies it satisfies the following it satisfies the following boundary conditions It satisfies the boundary conditions. What are those boundary conditions? First one is y of a equal to y1 implies y equal to y1 at x equal to a and the second one y of b is equal to y2 implies y equal to y2 at x equal to another point that is b. This is the procedure to calculate 
a variational problem whatever that uh, extremal is asked otherwise we have to calculate uh, the uh, euler's equation value value of the functional that is y is equal to y of x okay i shall take the problem on this variational problem how this procedure can be implemented in order to find the uh, in order to find the solution of the given variational problem let us see that uh, example solve solve the variational problem variational problem that is delta integration that is 0 to 1 y square plus x square that is y dash multiplied by dx that is equal to 0 with the conditions with the conditions given with the conditions y0 is equal to 0 and y dash that is y of 1 is equal to 1 that means at x equal to a is 0 at x equal to b is this one this is y1 and this is y2 let us see how this uh, uh, problem can be solved uh, at the end the differential equation you are ready that differential equation can be solved uh, through Euler's equation In the solution, let us take uh, the problem with uh, the functional, whatever it is given. Uh, let delta i, according to the notation, it is delta that is 0 to 1 integration under y square plus of x square y dash that is dx. And the conditions are given y0 is equal to 0 implies uh, this is y1 that means y at x is equal to a that is y1 and y at uh, 1 that is equal to 1 implies y at x equal to b that is equal to y2. These are the notations. Next by Euler's equation By Euler's equation, we have what is that differential equation? Del f divided by del y minus d by dx of del f divided by del y dash, and that's equal to zero. Del f by del y minus of d by dx. Uh, operating on del f by del y dash that is equal to 0. Let us calculate uh, these two derivatives del f by del y and del f by del y dash from the given functional. Now from the given functional means that is uh, given functional is this that is f of this value of course uh, we have to separate this and then we have to take the differentiation of the given functional. Let f of x comma y comma y dash that is equal to y square first term is y square plus of it is x square y dash implies del f by del y del f by del y is equal to 2y plus of that is uh, del f by del y is equal to 2y that is all the first calculation that is plus so you can write it as 0 otherwise it is 2y only. Next del f by del y dash what is that value del f by del y dash first term is 0 and the second term y dash is there with respect to that y dash you have to
that is equal to with respect to y dash that is equal to x square only. Then by Euler's equation here we have to substitute these two values in the Euler's equation. By Euler's equation we have that is del x by del y means 2y minus a d by dx d by dx of that is x square that is equal to 0. After substituting these two, we have to solve this differential equation that is d by dx uh, derivative you have to write and uh, that comes to be first term as it is that is 2y minus of 2x and that is equal to 0. When it is equal to 0, we have to solve this differential equation, uh, sorry, this equation, uh, already it is a solution, but we have to take uh, the interpretation of this uh, solution, whatever we have obtained from Euler's equation. You can cancel 2 and then uh, this is y, is y minus x equal to 0, this indicates what is the uh, extremal that is y is equal to x that means y of x is equal to x is there. What is the meaning of this uh, y equal to x? It is nothing but straight line passing through the origin. It is a homogeneous equation and it is a straight line passing through the origin. Then this equation denotes a straight line which gives the extremal of the variational problem that itself uh, uh, is the extremal we can consider which is the extremal which is the extremal of the given the given functional further what is the procedure we have to verify the given conditions how those uh, conditions are to be verified? The, those conditions you have to put at x equal to 1. What is the value of y at x equal to 0? What is the value of y? Then both the conditions uh, are to be satisfied. Let us verify these conditions. How they will satisfy? The first condition at y0 is equal to 0. It is given. The first condition is so that y equal to x is our equation implies 0 is equal to 0. One condition satisfied. At second condition, y of 1 is equal to 1. That means left side is 1 and right side is 1. And this is also satisfied. That means both the conditions, given conditions are satisfied. Hence, this function can be accepted as extremal of the given function. Let us see another problem of different variety to solve the variational problem. Then how this variational problem, another uh, problem behaves uh, to find out the extremal, uh, whatever the uh, conditions are given, we will make use of those conditions to find out the extremal. Let me take another example of this. Solve the variational problem that is delta integration 1 to 2 x square it is y dash square plus 2y into x plus y this is dx that is equal to 0 with the conditions with the conditions uh, y1 equal to 0 and y2 is also 0. Same time let us try how this equation gives us the solution. We have to identify the function and then we have to apply inverse equation 
and then if differential equation it comes, then we have to solve the differential equation, then we have to make use of these two conditions. In the solution, let f for x comma y comma that is y dash that is equal to x square y dash x square plus sum 2y into x plus y is there. Let us take, take this one as expanded form. That expanded form will be x square y dash square plus sum 2xy plus sum 2 times it is y square. This is the value of f. Now, by Euler's equation, by Euler's equation, we have, by Euler's equation, we have del y, del y. At, the, at this time, uh, by Euler's equation, we have this, the equation is del f by del y minus d by dx del f by del y dash that is equal to 0. Then del f by del y means with respect to y, first term is 0, second term that gives us 2x and next term is plus of uh, that is with respect to y means 4y. This is one value. And another value del f by it is del y dash that is equal to with respect to y dash means 2 times x square that is into y dash. So del f by del y dash is equal to 2 times x square y dash and both the values will substitute in Euler's equation. Then from Euler's equation. What we have from Euler's equation, we have to substitute these two values. Then 2x, that is in place of del f by del y, 2x plus 4y and minus of d, d by dx of, that is 2x square y dash, that is equal to 0. Here it is not the case of uh, the first derivative it is independent of y because y term is given and it is also appeared in the given functional. Then uh, we have to differentiate uh, this one that means d by dx is there and uh, we have to differentiate this one with respect to x and further what is the differentiation and then how the terms will fall let us verify what kind of final form of the equation we are getting and what kind of solution we have to solve for that. That is 2x, first term is 2x plus solve 4y, 2x plus 4y and uh, d by dx. So we have to find out d by dx that is here with respect to x you are doing with respect to x means that is 2x and plus of another term that is y double dash you are getting. Okay, minus that is d by dx with respect to x this is a product of two terms. Therefore, 4x into y dash one term minus sign as this 2x square that is into y double dash that is equal to 0 because y dash is equal to uh, dy by dx, then d by dx of y dash is equal to d square y divided by it is dx square. Then dx square means this can be taken as y double dash and this is already taken as y dash. Now we will write in the decreasing order of the derivative that is y double dash term first I will write minus of 2x square y double dash and y dash is one term 4 x into it is y dash and uh, this one y term I will keep in the left side plus 4 y and that is equal to minus of it is 2 x. I am sending this 2 x to the another side. Then minus 2 I will cancel here that is with uh, 2 times with the minus 2 
that is x square and y double dash. This is minus of uh, uh, minus 2x means plus sign comes and here it is 2 x into y dash and minus of this must be 2y is equal to x. So this is a differential equation we got finally and what kind of this differential equation is? This is called differential equation with variable coefficients. This is not a differential equation with constant coefficients but variable coefficients. In the case of variable coefficients we have to reduce it to the differential equation with constant coefficients and then we have to solve. Now we can declare this differential equation uh, as uh, uh, derivative with variable coefficients. What are those variable coefficients? x square for the second order derivative and x to the first order derivative. How this solution will be uh, obtained from this differential equation? Let us see that. That is x square, we can call it as, which is the differential equation, which is the differential equation with variable coefficients, with variable coefficients. Then what is the procedure to reduce it to this one? We have to avoid this x square here and we have to avoid this x here by choosing what is that value? You have to choose x in terms of some other symbol. What is that x in terms of some other symbol? Either in terms of t with exponential as a base. Uh, otherwise in terms of some z you can take. Uh, then put x equal to e to the power z which implies x into y dash that is equal to dy dy where uh, y is a function of y of z that means uh, x into y dash and x square into y double dash can be taken as that is d into d minus 1 that is y. So, this is a Cauchy's uh, differential equation already uh, you might have discussed in uh, differential equation with constant coefficients and variation uh, variable coefficients and directly I am writing by the substitution this makes uh, a product of variable with first order derivative as dy and product of variable uh, square with second order derivative multiplication as uh, d into d minus of y, where y is a function of z. Therefore, we have the given differential equation will be reduced to what kind? So, this must be d into it is d minus 1 that is y plus of 2 into that is dy minus 2y, this is equal to x. That is equal to x, but x is equal to what value? That is e to the power z. So, we can call this differential equation that is simplified like this d square minus d plus of 2d minus 2 operating on y is equal to e to the power z. It means this differential equation was in terms of x and y. Now this differential equation is in terms of z and y. So uh, it is uh, the differential equation with the constant coefficients. There is no variable here appeared. Uh, that is uh, all the derivatives first order and second order derivatives are multiplied by constant coefficients so that it is called as Cauchy's differential equation. Then further simplification will give us d square minus uh, d plus 2d gives us plus d and minus of 2 this gives that is y is equal to e to the power z. This is nothing but f of d y operating on that is uh, z of z you can take that means uh, uh, even r of z you can take it is a function of z. This is a standard notation where you can compare that is function of d. So that the solution we are, solution will be a linear combination of complementary function plus particular 
uh, integral. How this solution will behave? Let us verify this one. Then the solution. Then the solution is given by y is equal to y c plus y t, where y c what is it for complementary function. Complementary function and y t is particular integral. Particular integral. What is this complementary function? Uh, means it is a solution for the LHS of that uh, problem which is uh, reduced to the constant coefficient. That means differential equation reduced to the constant coefficient. Let us see that uh, how this solution will be got. What is the complementary function? It needs writing of this derivative in terms of axillary form. That axillary form we can have. What are the uh, values of these coefficients? That is d square. The equation is d square plus d minus 2 operating on y is equal to e to the power z. So, yc refers to solution for the LHS and y t refers to particular integral with reference to the RHS of the problem. So, uh, let the auxiliary equation, auxiliary equation v that is m square minus uh, that is plus m minus 2 equal to 0, m is equal to that is 1 comma m is equal to 1 comma minus 2 that implies yc is equal to c1 e to the power it is in terms of z c1 e to the power z plus of c2 e to the power minus of it is 2z. This is called complementary function and yt by inverse differential operator we can calculate yt is equal to 1 divided by it is d square plus d and minus 2 that is e to the power z it is to be operated on this. Then what we do here we replace this d by the coefficient of z it is equal to 1 divided by 1 square plus 1 and minus of 2 that is operating on uh, e to the power z uh, that means that is multiplied this is equal to 1 divided by it is 2 minus 2 and e to the power z we have but this becomes 1 divided by 0 e to the power z and uh, for this type what we call this is a case of failure of that particular step then we can consider the differentiation with respect to d. This is the case of failure. This is the case of failure. Then y3 is equal to 1 divided by we will take the differentiation 2d plus of 1 operating on what value that is e to the power z. Then you replace this uh, but it should be multiplied by z. Whenever we differentiate outside it must be multiplied by z. Then uh, z into uh, that is the uh, z coefficient here is 1 that is 1 divided by 2 into 1 plus of that is 1 to be multiplied to e to the power z. So z divided by 3 into e to the power z. This is y p. Then what you have to do in the next step that is y p is equal to z by 3 e to the power z. Therefore 
uh, solution is given by solution is given by y is equal to c1 e to the power z plus c2 e to the power minus 2z then plus of z by 3 e to the power z is that. This is not a complete solution. Once again, it includes the constants c1 and c2. We, we must find out these constants uh, from the uh, given conditions. That is, two conditions are given, y1 equal to 0 and y2 is equal to 0. Then let us use these conditions uh, in the same uh, type, whatever they are given, and then we will find out uh, the actual values. Okay. Now, at y1, that is, uh, equal to 0, then y1 equal to 0 means left side 0 we have to take and c1 e to the power e to the power 1 that is 1 we can take at z equal to uh, 1 sorry sorry this is y1 equal to 0 means you have to express because this z is uh, new symbol we are taken but you have to express this problem in terms of the original symbol what is that? that is equal to c1 e to the power that is z was taken as uh, anyway uh, x was taken as e to the power z then z is equal to log of x on both sides log x log you are applying log e to the power z is nothing but z only therefore z equal to log x then e to the power log x and plus of c2 e to the power minus of 2 times it is log x and plus of log x and e to the power log x log x and divided by 3 before that the simplification comes to be like this e to the power log x is that is c1 into x and the second term that is x to the power minus 2 that is plus of c2 uh, into 1 divided by x square that comes to the denominator and plus of log x e to the power log x means x into log x x into log x uh, divided by it is 3. This is the uh, functional sorry extremal which is represented as which is represented as an equation as a solution combination of yc and yp. Okay, so this part uh, I will continue in the ne next uh, discussion up to this session. We can now uh, uh, go through all these details how this Euler's equation is going to be applied.